Hi guys, if you are like me, you may own a lot of chucks. So when your chucks get all dirty and worn out like mine, you want to clean them, right? Well, this is going to be a little tutorial of how to clean your chucks. Crazy. Before we put our chucks in the wash, the first thing we want to do is rinse them off because we don't want all that sand and everything in our washing machine because that's not good for it. Let's do that now. All right, so now I'm in my bathtub with my pajama pants on. Honestly, I could do this just leaning into my bathtub, but then I couldn't get it on camera. So I'm doing this for you guys. It's not really a tub, really. It's just a shower, but anyways. You're not trying to get all of the, the, the brown kind of grunge off. You're just trying to get the sand off of it. Ta-da! All rinsed. Now one thing you want to check is if yours are really worn out, you want to check just for pebbles that might be stuck in the sole and stuff like this one here. So take that out. This is a good close-up of just how dirty my shoes are and how um, holy they are. All right, so now that they're all rinsed off, what you're going to want to do is take out the shoelaces. If you'd rather not wash the shoelaces, you can just buy new ones. I don't have new ones, so I'm going to try washing them. And also, you might want to take out any insoles you might have. If you do have insoles, there may be a lot of fluff built up inside um, from your socks. So try to take that out before you put it in the washing machine. I know it's kind of gross, but just do it. And there we go. Now we just put them into the washing machine. She laces. And I've got some other laundry that I have to clean as well. So I'm gonna put that in there too. Now for detergents, you're gonna wanna make sure that they don't have bleach in them. Um, because obviously that would take the color out of your shoes. So look for something without bleach. Like no mention of bleach on it at all, unless it says no bleach, then that's good. Also, if you want to throw in some fabric softener, that would be fine. Now for this, I'm going to put it on normal. Um, you don't need delicate or anything because they are shoes, so they're, they're used to um, being put through a lot. I'm going to put it on warm cold because I have other clothes in there as well. Once again, they're shoes. They can be cold, they can be warm, whatever. I'm going to put spin speed on high just because that's what it's already at. Soil level, I'm going to put one above normal. Not really heavy, but not normal because there is salt and stuff and, and dirt on the shoes. And this is just the beeper I put on high so that I can hear it. Go! I'll be back in an hour. Alright, all washed. And my shoes. You can put some fabric softener sheets in here if you want, but um, we've got these little things which act as fabric softeners, so I'll put those in. They're fun. And put on normal. We'll go for normal dry, and if they're not dry, we'll just put it on for a little bit longer. Um, medium temperature, and whatever. All right, they're done. Ta-da! They're a bit squished, but we're gonna deal with that right now. Let me get the shoelaces too. Oh, fantastic. If you don't empty your pockets, um, you will put your headphones through the wash and they will tangle with your shoelaces. You're gonna wanna take your shoes and an iron. <laughs> Now you want to set your iron for the lowest setting that it has. The lowest setting on mine is nylon. Um, if it's not quite getting the wrinkles out, you can put it up one level um, just to test it out. But just be careful. But once you can feel that it is warm, you can start ironing your shoes. And if you're like me, your tongue probably has this crease in it. It always bends like that. This one demonstrates it a bit more. Now all we're really doing here is trying to straighten out the tongue. Oh, 
Also try not to iron over the going over it this way is fine, but try not to actually put the iron directly on this is onto the label. Now what I'm going to try to do is iron out these wrinkles here and I'm going to use the end of the ironing board for that. Just hang it over the end of the ironing board, hold it, make sure you don't burn your fingers. Now I'm going to do the back of the shoe. It will conform to the shape of your foot when your foot's in it, but I'm just trying to get the bigger wrinkles out here. It's okay to iron over the eyes where the shoelaces go, but don't iron over any rubber and do not iron over this. I am back in my laundry slash DVD holding room. Put an old towel down. You're gonna wanna wear pants and a shirt that will be fine if they get bleach on them. So for this next step, you're going to need a few items. You will need a Clorox bleach pen. It doesn't have to be Clorox, it can be any bleach pen. It's got a small end. and a large scrubbing end. You will also need some paper towel. Yours doesn't have to have fish on it, mine does. You will of course need your shoes and your shoelaces, which you will notice I have untangled from my headphones, which I'm very curious if they still work, so I'll test that later. We'll just start with one shoe for now. So you have to make sure that you do not get bleach on the fabric. It's okay if you get it on the on the colored pieces of rubber. Um, obviously it's okay if you get it on the white rubber. It's fine if you get it on the black. It won't discolor the rubber, but it will discolor the fabric. So I cannot stress it enough. Do not get even a drop on the fabric. Bend the fabric back away from the rubber as best you can. And then you may begin. Now all you have to do with the bleach pen is squeeze a little bit and the bleach will come out. Kind of make sure it's all over. Let it sort of settle in. Use this scrubby bit to scrub the bleach that's already on there. Take a piece of paper towel and just Gently wipe off all the excess bleach. The very careful part. What I like to do around the edges is sort of this sort of motion. Hold the fabric away from the rubber and sort of pull the bleach down towards the sole of the shoe so that it doesn't get pushed off onto that side. Now do that to your other shoe as well. You're ready to put the laces in. Obviously, this is the dirty one, this is the clean one. The soles weren't very dirty to begin with. Last time I did them, the soles were just terribly dirty. And when I when I bleached them, it was it was just kind of crazy. It, it just shows you the drastic change that this can do. This can do. Also, last time I did it, um, I didn't wash my shoelaces. I had brand new white shoelaces, and it looked great. So I hope this helped some people. I don't know how many people will be looking at how to clean Chuck's butt. If you are, hopefully you found it, and hopefully you tried it, and hopefully it worked. They've been through the washing machine, they went through the dryer. Good job, Sony. Lindor Lab.